Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's a new year. I'm the same old me, if anything. I'm a little bit older and a little bit grumpier. But I'm back again. There's, we're on like day 13 of the United States government shutting down because no funding agreement. Trump is still saying wall or nothing and Democrats have taken over Congress and or uh, the House of Representatives, and they're throwing a temper tantrum saying, we'll do it without funding the wall. And you got the Anastasia, or whatever her name is, that just got elected to socialist, and she's already talking, been talking about wanting a vacation. I want to say a few things. First, every single person, elected official in Washington, should not be getting a paycheck right now. But they are. They're enjoying all the benefits. They're not losing out anything. If any, I personally believe they should not get, if the government shuts down because they can't pass a budget or whatever, they should not get paid and they should not get back paid. That's their punishment, in my not so humble opinion. That's not the case, and they're going to do something to hurt themselves. Democrats are trying to flex their muscle. I mean, why not? They're trying to excite their base, and right now their presidential hopefuls are not very ex- exciting. I mean, right now the main one is Elizabeth Warren with a possible cameo of Joe Biden and uh, Bernie Sanders again. It don't look very promising. On the Republican side, they got kind of got burned just a wee bit losing the House of Representatives. And so they're wanting to flex their muscle in there, say, telling Trump, do not compromise on the wall. It will be funded or else forget trying to run in 2020. Here's what I think. Am I not quite so humble opinion? Should Trump find grounds to try to compromise with the Democrats? Yes, that's the whole thing part of his what he ran on was his ability to negotiate and compromise I want to see that but he's been saying taking this hard line stance of no I'm not compromising on the wall I'm not compromising on the wall he don't need to be compromising on the wall if he's going to since he's been taking the hard line stance Unless he wants to just absolutely piss off the base. Because he's done quite a bit of that with like the bump sock bands and a few other things that I don't agree with. Then you have like the rampant spending. That I don't agree with. But he said something today that has absolutely got me riled up. And that was, he said, made a comment about how, well, he can just declare a state of emergency and fund the wall that way. First off, I don't believe it qualifies as being a state of emergency, but that's what you call a dictator move. It's not a republic move, the move of a republican government, or even a democracy. Let's flood out dictatorship of some variety. And I don't agree with that. I cannot agree with that. If he really wants to take a hard line stance and fight on the wall, that's fine. That's what he's been saying. He needs to stick to his guns if he want, doesn't want to lose his base because he's taken several huge hits already. What I cannot agree with is... And if whatever happens, happens. But don't do something that underhanded for you just like flex muscle where it shouldn't be flexed to get your way that no that's just wrong it's dictator like I said that's what you do if you're a dictator and I cannot support that anyway that's 
a very brief statement on this. Uh, I'm back to the house already because I had a couple videos I was wanting to listen to on the drive. Anyway, uh, hopefully I'm going to figure out a way to upload from that fancy little, well, semi-fancy action camera and I can get some cool video that way. I've got a lot of cool things I'm wanting to do this year. Um, maybe some videos of me doing, working on some projects. I think that'd be pretty cool. Maybe some stuff with Alice, if I can ever, if it'll ever stop raining long enough for me to uh, get the tire off the, that rear tire off the trailer and get it uh, on the tractor. And then I still haven't been able to get that disc plow off the trailer because Every time I think about it, you know, and I'm not working, and it's not dark and everything else, where I could actually do something with it, it's been raining. It's been like this for months. The running joke right now is, I'm so glad it's raining, the mud's starting to dry out. Anyway, I'm not going to bash it because there's coming a time where we're going to complain about it being too dry and so I guess accept the blessings while we got them that's the part of the ebb and flow but I'll be grateful we got it even though it hampers a lot of my plans anyway I hope everyone's having a good new year thus far and if you happen to be the whoever it was that prayed for the rain in my particular area you know, pretty much the entire southeast. Uh, pray for my bank account that large amounts of money will come to it. That money will flow like the rain has been pouring down the past few months. I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, again, hope you're all is all is well. Later.